maintain your ideal weight, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat less red meat, and to not smoke. Now, how, what percentage of Americans do all five? Three percent. We need to focus much more on helping people accomplish those five goals will make huge impact on the health in the United States. I've gained 50 pounds and have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, pre-diabetic, and I just wanted to get cleaned up. We've analyzed now almost 400 people, and what we find is that the blood sugars drop about 12%, the blood cholesterol drops 15%, the triglycerides drop almost 30%. If you take the uh, combination of how we've helped folks with many addictions, such as drugs, alcohol, smoking, even weight loss challenges, there's over 20,000 people that have come through our programs here. When we think about helping people with addictions, it's all about giving them courage. <laughs> Uh, there's a sense of mission there that uh, can only be described that way. 
And the unique thing is that it has nothing to do with a specific religious belief. It's just sacred. So all the connections that are done, uh, they look fine. It's a good match. Well, that's what I mean. It's a good heart. Uh, we would expect uh, David to do extremely well when this is all said and done. I know that David's own parents are very, very grateful for this opportunity. We all need to, to have that faith in our lives, it seems to me, to be complete. But uh, you have to take it somewhere. The nice thing about healthcare is it translates into people's lives. Thank you for your Good job. We feel so happy. We feel this new chance, new opportunity, new life for everyone. Religions nowadays really are trying to emphasize how important it is to stay healthy. I think there is that sense there that there's a higher responsibility. It's not just to self, it's to a higher being. When you see the body as a gift from God, and you take the responsibility we have as human beings to involve responsibility for the body, it has very revolutionary impact on how I see my day when I wake up in the morning. America is learning how costly it is to live life with disease. It's very expensive, not very much fun, and it diminishes the potential that people have. I want to be able to skydive when I'm 80 with my husband. Following health rules is not about some legalistic thing that's in the Bible. It's because we will feel better. Our relationships will be better if we're healthy. What the Advent gives the future a kind of, of hope, of meaning, a possibility. It gives the future, in spite of all the other problems we may face, uh, something to hope for and look forward to. It just never gives up. Thank you. 